Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to dig a little bit deeper into Wix.com and we're going to create an online store. Yes, we're going to set up our products for sale and we're going to customize our site however we want. So without further ado, let's go right in. So first thing you have to do is basically go to Wix.com. So this is the homepage that you get. This is their homepage. So without doing anything else, we're just going to click get started. If you want to follow along with me as I go with this tutorial, there's a link in the description. You can click and follow with me as I go with this tutorial. And before anything, Wix.com requires that you create an account with them so that everything is saved into that account. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create our account so this is my email I'm going to type my email again here choose a password has to be relatively strong password and finally click sign up as you can see here you have other options to continue with Facebook or Google automatically too so you, you don't have to use your email directly you can just sign up using Facebook or Google credentials so it saves a little bit of time so I'm gonna click sign up for this email directly Great, and now Wix is gonna guide us through the process of creating our first website. It's really easy like that. So all we have to do is follow in with the steps they give us. So let's do it. So I'm going to create my site. Okay, the site for myself. Okay, great. And it should be, as we've said, an online store. So we've already created a blog, etc. The others are very similar to that. An online store is a little bit special, so we're going to go with an online store this time. And I've built site professionally, built a few websites. So okay, so I'm going to go with never done this before, so that we can see everything from scratch and here as you can see you have two options either use Wix ADI or continue with a, a custom template we've already seen Wix ADI in the previous tutorials and we said that it simplifies stuff further but it also hinders your customizations you don't have as much options as you as if you've gone with the Wix editor Wix editor gives you a lot more options and a lot more customization so you can do things manually however you want so you're not really presented with things to add to your website but you actually have all the say to what goes on to your website and how you can tweak every little option in your website so this is going to go with and choose a template so as you can see here there are a lot of templates provided by Wix as you can see here for every theme you can think of basically so I've already picked the online store as the theme of our website so as you can see here Wix automatically chooses and lets us pick one of the options one of the templates in this uh, category so online store so here you can further specify what type of online store you want to build so either uh, fashion etc so we're going to go with for this tutorial is an electronic store okay so something like smartphones etc gadgets and whatnot so pick the electronics website template you love so great so as you can see there are about uh, seven options here that you can choose from and to view a template all you have to do is click on view here it will show you a preview of the template so what you're gonna get when you go with this template so as you can see here, close this, you can browse this template and see the, the first look of it. You can customize it then if you choose to go with this template. Click on this product, quick view, and as you can see here, this is the product page. You can check other templates as you want. So I'm going to go, for example, here, preview this, see how it looks. So I think I like the first template more, so I'm gonna go with this template. Of course, you can pick any template you want based on these, and also you can create your own template from scratch if you don't like any of these. So I'm just gonna go with this and click edit here to edit this template. So once you choose your template, you're automatically redirected to the Wix editor to further tweak and change and customize your template. 
Just a quick reminder, there's a link in the description. If you want to go with me uh, with the rest of the tutorial, you can click on that link and go as I go. Great, so our website is set up, our template is set up. As you can see, you get the same template you previewed. As you can see here, they have a little problem. App didn't load, try again later, disable any ad blockers. I don't have any ad blockers. Uh, I'll reload the page. Okay, we're gonna go with the first option and going to uh, reload the page, see if that fixes the problem. Else, we can just go with another template. You always have the option to change the template as you want. Great, seems that that fixed the problem. So a simple reload fixed the problem. So as you can see here, there is a grid over your page to limit the size of the page. So you can go over this, but you can change anything that goes inside these grids. So here, for example, I want to change the logo as you can see here you can change anything so for this, for the title of our store i'm going to name it for example text all you can all you have to do is just double click on it or click on edit text as you can see here you can change the text automatically and directly so we're going to name our store uh micro choice okay and as you can see here you can customize the font change the style of the font etc i'm going to just leave it at that and for the tagline i'm going to go with uh, grab your gadget today something like that okay you can change it however you want and for the logo so just click on it and click on change image here as you can see it's very easy and here you can upload your logo very easily so here I'm going to upload a simple logo I have downloaded online. So I'm click, so click on upload here and choose the logo you want, the image you want, and simply click on open here. That's it. Wait for the logo to be uploaded or your image. And once your logo is uploaded, click on choose image here. Okay, as you can see here, you can click on settings here if you want to change how it looks. If you want to change the design, click on design here. If you want to put a border on your image, a frame, etc., you want to, you can crop it, add filters to it, animate it, and add a link to it automatically. The image, the logo image is automatically linked to the to the homepage. So as you can see here, the hands of this bag are cropped. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is click on settings here and go to image resizing and we're going to disable key proportions and as you can see here we can now resize the image however we want so i'm going to leave it like that of course you can do the same for other images for example you want to change this image or any other image on the home page here of course if we want to add other sections to this page maybe a paragraph maybe other images in between all you have to do is go to add here click on add and in here you can add in components to this page, maybe text, image, even gallery, multiple images, shapes, buttons, etc. a video maybe. So you can add other components and sections to uh, this page or any other page for that matter. So we're going to explore next is the My Store app. So here Wix automatically added this app when we've chosen to, to use an online store. So here you can click on my store here to manage your store so click on get started and as you can see here this is a product gallery page here's where your customers can browse your products so we're going to go to dashboard to our store dashboard So this is your dashboard. As you can see here, you, you can further set up your online store, adding payment methods, shipping options, etc. It's very important to set up your online store completely before you set it live. So here, as you can see, you have your store products, your store orders, etc., and the settings, etc. So this is the dashboard where you're gonna manage your store automatically. It's very easy. As you can see here, we're going to add our first product. So I'm gonna click on add product here. And this is of course the same thing that you can do from the list of products. So you can automatically and very easily add in products from this page. So sell physical or digital product. So all we have to do is click on new product. As you can see here, we already have different products. So I'm gonna click on new product here. So digital file or physical product. I'm going to go with physical products, so a gadget maybe is, is, is probably going to be a physical product. And here you just type in your product title, add in images of the product, add in detailed info product, etc. 
you can customize your text maybe if you're selling customized products so here you can add in text fields etc and finally the shipping options as you can see here either if in stock how much it weighs etc if you're providing tracking options also create coupons as you can see here so manage your collections if you want to group products into certain collections you can create your collections etc so it's all managed in one place so this is the price so i'm going to show you next is how to change the currency of your store maybe you're in europe so you want to to use euros automatically as your uh default currency or maybe you're, you're using uh, dollars us dollars etc so i'm going to cancel this this is very straightforward so i'm going to cancel this this call changes great go back to the main menu and here I'm gonna click on settings go to uh, general info and then scroll down to the regional settings as you can see here you can change the format of dates and language etc so I'm gonna set here United States language default language is English and currency I'm gonna set euro for example okay got it and finally maybe your time zone I'm gonna go for example with London here and regional settings maybe I'm gonna change it to United Kingdom okay and just keep things going in assigned direction I'm going to change currency to pounds so pounds sterling got it and as you can see here the regional format preview matches our matches what we want so so, so all we have to do next is just click on save here. And that's it. So we're going to close this store manager. So this is the dashboard, as you said. Just a reminder, the dashboard is where you're going to set everything you want. It has all the options you need. You can manage all these products and more from the store manager here. To preview your website, all you have to do is click on preview here. You can preview your website on mobile and also desktop so here we're automatically on desktop so you can already see how it's going to look on desktop if you want to see how it's going to look on mobile all you have to do is switch to mobile here and as you can see this is a good thing about wix is that it automatically designs your websites to go well with mobiles or desktops so as you can see here now the products are shown on top of each other instead of next to each other as you can see here and that's it so we're going to go back to the editor switch to desktop skip this so we've seen the home page we've seen the shop this is the shop page it lists all products and customers can always filter their products however they want as you can see here you have other pages FAQ and contact us page you can other you can add in other pages as you want here so these are the pages you have that are shown automatically to all users to all customers for those who have created their accounts they have additional products as you can see here my account my orders my address my wallet and then finally the sole page pages so this is a card page it's going to show up to users who have added products to their cars a thank you page this is going to show when they have completed their order and the main product page this is the main product pages on which the product is going to show up you can customize any of these pages as you want here so for example this is my account page it's going to be shown to users who have created their own account and also other accounts maybe the card page etc as you can see here the card is still empty if you have added products to your card they're going to automatically show up here with a payment with the total amount to pay etc so go to back to the home page so once your website is all set up and ready to go live all you have to do is publish here click on publish here and they're going to be presented with the options you have to publish your website as you can see here your site is published in is live online as you can see here all you have to do is click on view site and as you can see wix automatically creates your your link that's going to that is hosted on their domain name you're most likely not going to want it to be like that so you're going to want to link to your your own domain name and to do that you have to go with the other option as you can see here connect to your own branded domain so i'm going to click upgrade now and to do that of course you're going to have to use one of uh, wix's plans which gives you the option to link in your own branded domain name your own purchase domain name as you can see here you have four plans under the website category and three plans under the business in e-commerce category so this is so since this is an online store we will have to go with a business or e-commerce plan which as you can see here accepts online payments so we're going to go for example with basic which goes for about 17 dollars a month so click on select 
as you can see here you have subscription period option so here you choose how much you're going to pay in advance so either go with a two-year subscription in which case you're going to save about a hundred dollars a hundred and thirty dollars you can pay yearly or monthly so each of these options have their own price so the cheapest you can go with is two years in advance and this is going to select and click on select and finally here you fill in your payment credentials your card number etc and finally click on submit purchase as you can see here you're going to be billed about four hundred dollars right now which will include include uh, hosting for the next two years. If you want to cancel your purchase anytime, you have 14 days to cancel your, your purchase and you're going to be refunded automatically. So this concludes our tutorial. If you've missed a step in the duration of a tutorial, you can go and click on the link in the description to go back and start again and follow again with the tutorial. So I hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for viewing.